Does this look familiar? Have you seen this anywhere? We oui, Mezzanine, the Speedy is a small keep all. So the bag did not become a household name until who I would say was one of the first influencers requested a custom made bag. and bienvenue to my 25 days of vlogging. C'est moi, Jessie, your resident Francophile, and here on Cappuccinos and Consignment, I focus on lifestyle, travel, and finance. Sequel Play, take a moment to like, subscribe, and follow. Follow me over on Insta. I have a blog, and we, it's true. I am desperately trying to find my way on TikTok. So because I am not a holiday person, I am just going to do pretty much 25 days of fashion history. So let's get into the most iconic Louis Vuitton bag, and that is the Speedy. I said it, it's a classic. <laughs> there is much debate online as to whether this bag is basic, if it's this. I am telling you it is here to stay. And in this vlog alone, when you hear about the history, you will not be able to deny that if nothing else, this bag has stood the test of time. So before we talk about the Speedy, we have to talk about the Keep All. If you are not familiar with the Keep All, I'm kidding. <laughs> The key ball is the LV duffel. So going back a little bit into history, and we can do this like the history of Vuitton on another vlog post, but I must go into a little bit of history. Fashion House started for travel, which is why I am partial to LV travel because that's why the brand was established. I have a degree in fashion design and art history and the history of things matter most to me. So I could have gone with any luxury designer because I do love my luxury. I could have gone with any luxury designer because so many have travel goods now, but to me, it is the historical factor that made me go with LV. I have had the Pigas, which I have a review on, and I now use the Horizon. I'm bringing it back to the Speedy. You cannot talk about the Speedy without first knowing about the Key Ball. The Key Ball is the LV duffel, and again, being a luxury travel brand, this is what most people use. The house started with making trunks. That's how long it's been around, the 1800s when most people traveled by train or ship. So there were no baggage fees. Could you imagine trying to check in an LV trunk today? <laughs> So with time, LV evolved and they created the Keep All. The Keep All comes in four different sizes, starting with 45 being the smallest and 60 being the largest. These numbers refer to the centimeters, the length of the bags. So that's a bit about the Keep All. Perhaps I should show you the Keep All and you'll understand how the history ties into the Speedy. Does this look familiar? Have you seen this anywhere? We oui, Mezzanine, the Speedy is a small keep all. In 1930, the bag that was then known as the Express was created. It was what we refer to now the Speedy, the Speedy in a size 30, I mean, a bit more transient at that time and carrying trunks and keep alls were becoming a bit more difficult and people started to recognize the brand and wanted to carry it outside of travel. So thus the Speedy 30 was created. So the bag did not become a household name until who I would say was one of the first influencers requested a custom made bag. In 1930, 59, the beloved Audrey Hepburn, Breakfast at Tiffany's, Charades, all of those great movies, requested a smaller bag. She absolutely loved the house, but the bag was too big. She wanted a day-to-day -day bag. And if you know anything about Audrey Hepburn, I, I have, I'm like a wealth of just random knowledge. She was very, very petite woman. At her smallest, she weighed about 88 pounds. She lived a very, very difficult life, but that's a whole other thing. So with that, the 30 was too big for her. She wanted a smaller bag and LV made a custom bag for her, the 25. After seeing her with the 25, everyone wanted one. So LV went from making that custom 25 for Audrey to making it widely produced for anyone who wants so it. Here we have gone from 1930, the creation, to 1959. Almost 30 years this bag has been around at this point. A crowd pleaser, an absolute crowd pleaser. So this is one of the most iconic bags in the LV house because it's one of the most recognizable. The moment I showed you the key ball, I'm sure it clicked in your head that that's a big speedy. <laughs> 
when you look at the sizes of the key ball, it will automatically show you how it ties into the speedy. The smallest key ball is a 45. The largest speedy is a 40. It's clicking, right? You got it. <laughs> Speedy has mainly remained the same as far as the shape and the aesthetic. Small things have changed since, what, almost 100 years of creation? Tell me that's not a classic. Tell me. We can argue in the comments. Psych. <laughs> but very small changes have been made because it is a classic. One of the biggest changes to the Speedy happened in 2011. In 2011, LV introduced the bandolier, and that is commonly known as the straps that are on the Speedy. Up until then, the Speedy was only a handbag because the key ball was a hand luggage. So the introduction of the straps made it easier for people to wear it cross body. Not everyone wanted a handbag and LV did not want to lose out on a market. So they made it more practical for people who wanted to live a hands-free lifestyle. Who are these people? Who are these? I'm kidding. No, I am just very partial to handbag. Yes, I should know. Bandolier, that's French for with strap. Clever. <laughs> So in addition to the straps, the only changes in 2011 were the double zipper. Any bags made before then or that does not have the strap, you only zip one way. Speedies with straps all have the double zipper to make reaching the contents inside the bag more accessible. The Speedy has not changed that much over time and the adage rings true. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> If you have a classic, why alter it? The only alterations outside of the strap and the double zipper that, and I should also note the inside zipper. Initially, there wasn't an inside zipper. Some of the width strap speedies have zippers inside. So outside of that, there haven't been big changes. However, external changes that has happened through the times have all been collaborations. Because this is such a heritage brand, when LV collaborates with other designers, they typically use the Speedy. I just thinking, I, I can't think of any other bags that has ever been included in the collaborations. It's always been Speedies. And I'll insert a bunch of examples here, like you all know these collaborations. Famous collaborations were, they all were famous, but the Marc Jacobs, the Steven Sprouse, like those bags are selling for so much now. And a fun fact about the price, 2002, can you guess how much a brand new Speedy would have cost you? Like pause the video and put it in the comments. Do not Google, do not cheat. How much do you think a brand new Speedy would have cost in 2002? You're back. <laughs> $500, 500 US dollars, a brand new Speedy would have cost you $500 in 2002. I have a bone to pick out back my mare because in 2002, when I was in high school, I wanted that bag and she told me I was out of my mind. That would have been a crazy investment, right? <laughs> a brand new Speedy Noun 2022, I think it is about $1,500. If I am wrong, I will insert the price here. We oui, mesa me. So I love the Speedy. I absolutely love the Speedy. I concur with LV that it is an absolute classic. I love handbags and I also love the structureless Ness. Did I make that up? Of the bag. There are other LV bags that I absolutely love, but the Speedy, I really think it's the duffel of it that really, that I really, really love. If you have ever watched any of my vlogs, if you've ever seen any of my reels, I pack the entire house with me when I'm leaving. The husband questions if I am coming home. And that usually consists of a tote bag. But with the speed, I have the ability to pack every single thing. But it's still super chic with the handle. I have a 40 and a 35, I believe. I should know this, but I don't. I I love it. I really, really do love it. If you are interested in buying a pre-loved Speedy, let me know and I can send you a link. I will also include some links at the bottom. I would truly appreciate it if you use my links when purchasing these bags. I shared this and I want to say day three of my 25 days of vlogs that affiliate links are one of the ways that I maintain cappuccinos and consignment. I do not do a lot of brand deals for a lot of reasons that I shared on that vlog, but you 
all using affiliate links. It does not cost you a thing. You are not charged an influencer tax. The company that you are buying the product from pays me and I appreciate it so much. So again, if you are looking to buy a Speedy, I will be certain to send you or any pre-love bag. I will be certain to send you a link and it will help me out so, so much. Merci beaucoup for your time. And if you are interested in learning more about LV, let me know. If you want to get into how the monogram was started, was the monogram the first print from LV? Just everything. I am a walking encyclopedia when it comes to LV. LV, slide in my DMs. <laughs> Until tomorrow. Alrighty, ciao for now.